Welcome friends, followers and transients to Seven Days to Die. Well, a few people have been asking me to play this game and I've decided to do it. I have very, very, very little experience in this game. Um, I've watched some videos, I've had a little bit of a tinker around. But yeah, I don't know 100% what I'm doing. But um, I thought I'd give it a go nonetheless anyway. As soon as people are demanding it so much, then why not? So any tips and hints would be fabulous. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because you can continue to help me along my journey. But yeah, some of it seems simple enough. Um, I'm not too bad at shooting things, so that will be handy once I get a gun or something like that. So first off, I have to make a bedroll. So I believe in the kind of arc um, survival fashion, we need to start punching some grass. And maybe not the cactus. What on earth did I just punch then? That grass sounds awfully hard. So we'll do this. Like I say, not 100% <laughs> not sure what I'm doing, but yeah, I think uh, it should be quite interesting. So crafting, I can't remember what key it is. Is it tab? It must be. So we'll craft one of those. And we'll wait for it to do that. We've got a nice house here. I don't know how quickly the game is going to start throwing zombies at me. But um, I'm going to have to be slightly prepared for it. I feel like I'm walking really slow. I thought run was default, but maybe not. So we're going to have a look around. If, um, if you guys don't know about this game, which you must have been living under a rock if you didn't, I suppose. Because it's been around quite a while. It's a, a zombie survival game. So it's like a zombie ap apocalypse. So if you've watched the likes of The Walking Dead, it is kind of in that fashion. Candle, can I take that? Excellent, that might come in handy. Is that... That's a zombie, isn't it? <laughs> why? Um, uh, yeah, okay, I'm gone. <laughs> I don't understand why it didn't move, but that's fine. It's either a zombie or a dead person, but I'm, I'm figuring that anything that's dead is a zombie right it wants me to put the, uh, the bed roll down so we can do that job done yeah no there we go see i told you i didn't know what i was doing what's the next thing it's going to want me to do oh we have some feathers i think yep yeah, excellent is there a, here's a question is there a quick key for grabbing stuff from here oh is it r it may be r so we did some wood, some plant fibers, because yeah, it, it, it takes a little bit of time just dragging and dropping things like that all the time. Right, what are we getting from this? Nothing by the looks of it. I don't know why I keep clicking, I can just keep my finger on the button. Oh, I got some wood and some small stone, which I believe are just lingering around on the ground until we get to a point where we can actually harvest stuff. Let's go through all the garbage, so what was it? Oh. Oh, look at that, so much quicker. When I was actually kind of setting the game up and, and trying it out, I didn't actually realize I could do that. But that's uh, that's gonna be a real like, time saver. So I believe there is different biomes as well. So it looks like we're in kind of some, I don't wanna call it desert, but it is kind of, uh, kind of like that. Can you actually, oh my God, I don't wanna punch that. That's just ridiculous. Um, Okay, I guess we can probably boil them into some kind of tea, so we'll take those. What we got here? Some casino tokens and iron arrowheads. Ooh. I have a feeling we can probably use those. What do we need? More stone. I've got to keep my eyes open for, for birds' nests. It's really difficult looking at this ground. They're going to be really camouflaged. Whereas, I guess if we were in like some kind of lush grassland, it'd be a lot easier. There's not much in the way of stones either. I'm going to gather these anyway because I think as part of the tutorial um, you have to make cloves and you do need plant fibres so we will uh, we'll take those. Are you anything? You're just some grass. Okay. Oh, we have a car. Are you going to have anything of use? A gun would be nice. A sniper rifle would be perfect. Corn seed and trophies. I'm guessing we can probably plant stuff then. So I am a little bit wet behind the ears. Um... So I've seen a few things in videos. I've been watching a co-op series between a couple of friends on YouTube. I might actually put the link of that in the description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, they seem very proficient at the game. So I'm learning a lot from just just, just from kind of watching them. But sometimes you just got to go it alone, really. Right, so we need to craft a stone axe. 
Is there a... There it is. Okay, we'll craft one of them. So I'm going to guess that's for chopping trees. It's going to make things a little bit easier. There's some building over there, but... I have a feeling if I'm going to go anywhere near civilization, I'm probably going to come across some beasties. Aha, uh -huh, plant fibers. There we go. I knew that was coming. I think what we'll do is we'll chuck that in here. Not that we need it just yet. So we're just going to walk around with our face planted firmly in the ground, completely oblivious to what's coming at us. All right, okay, here we go. So we're going to make some clothing. So we need, do we need gloves? Yes. So we need gloves. Um, we need a hood, trousers, shirt, and shoes. Uh, where is W? Excellent. So the first thing when you're playing games like this is to learn all the all the hotkeys. Anything that stops you moving your mouse all around the screen. I think the next thing it's going to ask me to build is a bow and arrow, which I can't wait. <laughs> I just like shooting things. And that's something that's actually not part of my channel yet, is a game where you physically have to shoot stuff. So this is, in a roundabout way, is the first FPS game that I've actually put, because Subnautica doesn't count, because you can't actually, you can't actually kill anything in that game. Hope if I clicked it first. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to make loads of those. Yikes. Right, I'm guessing, is this, how do you, um, how do you view yourself? This one? Oh, very sexy. <laughs> uh, let's gather some wood. So we have an axe now, so that will be much easier. Keep my eyes open for for uh, those nests as well. I'm wait I'm waiting for the comments that that tell me how many of them I missed. I think I just heard a snake. Um, okay, let's have a look. There's a club. Let's do it that way. It's a little bit easier. I can hear things. Getting a little bit paranoid. Oh look, there's a zombie. I can see one moving around in the background. In fact, there's two. Yeah, let's not linger around here too much. I swear I can hear a pig. Cut. Oh, no, no, no. Go away. Might help if I switch to my club. Oh, this is going to kill me, isn't it? <laughs> wow. We are eight minutes in and just been killed by a wolf. That's, that's brilliant. And the thing is... I'm hoping it spawns me where I put down that, that um, bed roll. Because we could spawn p potentially anywhere. Hmm. Maybe I should have just run. Yeah. But I, I kind of figured in my mind, um, spawn in my beds. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I kind of figured that the wolf would probably leave me behind. Now, I have changed some of the settings of the game to, to make it a little bit more accommodating um, for a noob like myself. But clearly. The, uh, the game has got a different idea. Now I'm hoping that it's not still over there. Because that's got all my gear. Not that I have a lot of stuff. But I would like to get it back. And thankfully. the uh, Even if I didn't know where I was going. The, the map up the very top there. Tells me where I need to go. I can see another zombie lingering around. Um, where's my stuff? Aha. Uh -huh. Um, oh, right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'll deal with that when, when I'm not kind of in that sort of area. Okay, so this house is both ways. I guess we'll go this way. Um, let's equip everything that we had before. There we go. We'll, we'll use you. We'll put the wooden club in here. I should, probably should have used that in hindsight. There we are. I've got to keep an eye on food and drink as well. The, the only slightly annoying thing, I suppose duct tape that might come in handy at some point because it doesn't tell you um, how hungry or thirsty you are on this main screen you have to go into a separate menu to find that which yeah it's a tad annoying so we need some wood and we're going to make a bow that'd be excellent so we'll take a stone you never know what's going to come in handy i'll take you so we need a tree yeah there's one i don't think we're going to have enough feathers at this stage to make a lot of arrows but i'll take what we can get take you out. I can't believe I died that quick though. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I think you can hide like this. The crouch. Undetected. Are you still undetected while making a, 
Complete noise chopping a tree down. I'm not really sure. Okay. So we are going to make a bow, isn't it? Wooden bow. Excellent. We'll make one of you. And it wants me to make some arrows as well. Drop you here. And... Is it just a, a basic arrow? I think it is. We can make five. Oh, well, that's not too bad. But to be honest, that is a good start. What was that then? Quest completed, basic survival. Okay. Time I hear strange noises, I'm going to be asking questions and looking around nervously, not knowing what's coming my way. And having died in the first episode to a wolf. Is that coming my way? It kind of is. I don't know if he's seen me. No, it's kind of wandering around aimlessly. So I'm going to ignore it and keep my eyes open for those birds' nests. And oh, we won't go near you. Yeah, whatever. I want to raid some of these buildings. Wow, there's so many zombies around. I didn't actually expect. Yes, before you say it, it is a zombie survival game. So <laughs> they are to be expected. But I didn't think I would see that many in kind of the area that I'm starting off in. I thought it would kind of slowly introduce you, but... Yeah, clearly the game doesn't want to do that. It wants to give it me the hard way, which is fine. It's a really fat looking zombie over there. Hmm. Okay, I'm not getting much in the way of loot at the moment, which sucks. Now what I would really, really love is a sniper rifle. Whoa, how did you get so close to me so quick? I didn't even hear him coming. Now I don't know what this place is, I think it's a shop. Well, let, let's try the bow and arrow out, here we go. See if I can get him in the head. Well, there's no crosshair. <laughs> Not as easy as I first thought. Oh, is he dead? I don't know. Let's let's smash his brain in just to be sure. Yes, there we go. Oh, he's never even got anything. I could have taken his clothes, surely. So I, I kind of think the thing we need to think about at the moment is food and water and that sort of stuff. So let's have a look. So I am a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty. I think we have some water. We do. Uh, drink would be A. Kind of chilly, I'm not sure if... Yeah, you can just eat that. That's not too bad, it's not going to last forever. And you, you do have skills as well. I've, I've never got around to using this, so I'd like a little bit of advice on that. I don't, I don't know where I should be investing my points, really. It's locked. Can we smash this down? That's probably going to take a while. Is there an easier way in? Let's have a look. We've not really got the equipment, but over time... Dumpster. Let's have a look in there. You, you can make better equipment. I suppose that's the point I'm looking for. That does look like a slightly easier door. We've got some money. Not that it's going to be really... What the hell? I, oh. Okay, that's got to be in, inside. That literally is giving me goose pimples. I don't know how evil that thing is. It doesn't sound very happy. But I want to get in here and have a look. So I can't chicken out every time I hear strange noises. So I'm going to have to go with it. I think we're going to have to go in here with a club. Oh, it's locked in there. Wow, she's getting her way through, though. Where did you come from? Ah. Oh, my gosh. Literally, they just sneak up on you. Oh, I've got two of them now. Can I... Can I Get out the door, get out the door. Whoa, these things are crafty. Let's make a run for it. <laughs> wow. I never realized, I literally get getting sweaty palms. I never realized how scary it would be. These things move pretty quick. I'll give them that. I don't think she's dead. Oh, we've run out of arrows. That's not good. Well, I'm hoping if I leave them behind... Oh, cactus, don't run into a cactus. Oh, my goodness. They're still following me, but hopefully... We can have a look around. I ain't going to be able to get into that safe. 
I need to check in here quickly because they're going to probably corner me. We don't have a light, which is slightly unfortunate. Oh, they, did they open the door? Or did I completely miss that? I don't know if them things are going to come for me or not. <laughs> I've got I've gone completely quiet because I feel like if I talk they're gonna hear me. Get, get away, get away, get away, stand up! Run, run! Oh my god. There, they opened the door. Damn. Right, okay. Whew. Now's the time that I would like some that's duct tape, not bandages. Uh yeah, I wish I had my air conditioning on right now because I've literally got sweaty <laughs> just just from playing it. These things are like they're relentless. I can what happened then? Did I just literally drop dead? Was I bleeding to death or something? And I didn't notice it. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this right now with with their face in the palms of their hands, just like oh my god. Why doesn't he just stick to city building games? <laughs> that would be no fun. Uh, spawn on my bed. Damn. I have no idea what happened then. Okay, so... Every time I die, is that making a difference to things? Well, these are not very high. I'm completely naked, which is most attractive. I'm not quite sure why I died then. I don't know if I was... Bleeding to death or something like that, maybe. It's quite possible. But there's definitely a lot for you guys to talk about in the comments. You know, how inept I am is, is one thing, but I need pointing in the right direction, I believe. I can't believe how many times I've died already. That that literally sucks. Right, well, pick up a stone while we're here. <laughs> I've still not seen bird's nests. I don't much like it around here. Apart from the fact I'm dying an awful lot. It's... Uh, it's not going very well. I should probably make another bedroll so I don't have to keep walking back so far. We have some corn. Can we? Can we? Uh, can I eat this or do I have to cook it? That's probably going to be the next. Oh, god damn it! The next problem I'm going to face is uh, starvation and thirst. And right at this present moment, I've not seen any water. Can you? Can you get water from these? Okay, I'm not going to walk into it. So I've got to keep my eyes peeled. Yes, I can hear you. Go away. Is that my bag on the road? It is. We will... Oh, radiation. Whoa. I just saw this, the little thing come up there. Radiation. Why? There wasn't even any warning. Is it the end? I bet it's the edge of the map or something. <laughs> What are the odds of that? Come on. This game is being literally ruthless to me. It spawns me at the edge of the map. There's no warning that there's radiation. Damn. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. It really doesn't like me already. All right, we'll equip, we'll equip you, chuck you here. Oh, we have a bandage. Can, I don't know if that's going to help. No, I've got nine health, so I'm clearly going to die again sometime soon. I'll be quiet, you guys. Right, I see some kind of... I'm going to assume it's a baseball stadium, seeing as it... I'm guessing this is America. The cars are called sedans and things like that. So they must be vending machines. Or something like that. So I'm probably going to be able to get some food or drink. I'm guessing here. This is pure con conjecture. But what I would not like to make is another bed roll. Because... I'm probably going to need one at some point. Oh, my health is recovering slowly. That's that's quite useful. Ooh, what have we got here? Some lead and some casings. Okay. Oh, it's not it's not baseball. It's American football, I believe. Okay, and most things in the world it seem seem to be destructible as well. So you can you can break things down. Um, to, to kind of smaller components and make them into something else, which I really like. The thing is I've got to kind of be wary of is when the day ends, I think you get a horde of um, undead coming at you. 
think hence the name Seven Days to Die. So it's going to progressively get worse. So I need to really get a wiggle on. And hope is that water? Hmm. Question is, is it safe water to drink? Um, do I, have to, I think I have to put my axe away. Oh, yeah, that's dirty water. Never mind. I should have, I should have bowled it first. Okay. I saw that wolf, and it was standing upright. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Oh, please don't be chasing me. This this area is, is it feels like it's been it's not the nicest area to start on. I'm just literally surrounded by zombies and anything that wants to kill me. He looks like a soldier. Ah. Um, I don't have any arrows, do I? Can I just... I've got a helmet on. This isn't going to go very quickly, is it, surely? <laughs> He's not enjoying this. Right, so let's squash his brain. Is, every... is he not dead? Oh my god, this guy can take an absolute beating. Oh, he almost got me then. Now he's dead. Wow. Ooh. Oh, it's a schematic. I was going to say, I have a gun. But I have some night vision goggles. And they are going to be useful. Can I... Can I learn... Did I leave that behind? Did I not take it? So I can learn how to make a gun. Awesome. Well, that's the first little bit of exciting stuff that's happened. Other than me dying, of course. Right, let's, let's work our way through this. Because these um, crates tend to hold some goodies. can hear something moving. Seriously? A washing machine? What on earth am I going to do with a washing machine? I mean, I could probably break it. Oh man, these things just won't go away. <laughs> Ooh. Tin cans. Mm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what they're going to be for. But I'll take them. I guess they can be recycled. Oh, another soldier. Hmm. Well, we took one down. I think we can... We can have another one. I think we need to knock him down and, and, and bash his brains in. Be careful of my health. Oh, dear. Actually, it might make sense. Wow, he moves really quick. Um, if I put this down... <laughs> Just in case. Oh, fall over. Fall over. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. But he's definitely dead. And we have a helmet. I'm going to quite happily wear that. That's going to be a lot better than what I have on now. But my health is looking really bad. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably hungry as well. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> so this is how an amateur plays Seven Days. <laughs> <laughs> if if you weren't aware. What else have we got over here? Anything of you? Oh no, not another soldier. I literally don't have... Oh, I kind of want to take him on. Because I feel there's going to be stuff in those tents that might be quite useful. It's been really good to me so far. So I've got a, like um, a, a, a schematic for a gun. I've got a nice helmet. I've got some night vision goggles. I think there's more, more to get. Oh, feathers. We will definitely take you. How far away is he? Let's see if I can get some arrows. I'm not sure what that was, but it was a strange noise. He's getting awfully close. Oh, I completely missed him. That was terrible. I could do with a crosshair. This guy is a machine. Yeah, my my health is not high enough. The thing is, if I run all the way back over here now, because I clearly move a lot quicker than him, 
I don't know if he will catch up with me. There's, there's, there's the question. Let's see what, what we've got in here. I'm hoping there's no more of them. I'll take you. I have no clue what you're for. Old chair. Ooh. Feathers. Okay, eggs. That's got to be some food. Cooler. Some food. What backpack? Oh, come on. Could have given me something, something good. What was that? Okay. I'm not sure what they're for, but we'll take them. Hopefully some more food or water. Oh, yes. We got some honey, I think that was. Munitions. Ooh. <laughs> this could be exciting. I could have my first gun. Judging by how long it's taken to actually loot this, it's got to be worth it, surely. We have a barrel. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going to need that to actually make the gun. But I have the schematic. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the soldier's all the way over there. I'm not too worried about him. Wow, there's just tons of these guys. They're just everywhere. Right. I am tempted to look over there, but as I'm coming this way, I'm seeing the grass is getting a little bit greener. So it's looking a little bit more like a forest. So I'm going to probably head over this way. Probably more likely to see the nests as well on the ground. Like I said, though, I've probably walked past a million of them. Been completely oblivious. Oh, a knife. Excellent. He's starting to go my way. Um, we're not near the edge of the map, are we? Oh, we are crossing into a different different biome. Nice. There's quite a few things that lingering around. I don't know what you guys have thought of this so far. I know, I know I'm hopeless. You don't need to tell me that. But... I don't think I'm doing too bad for a complete amateur. It makes me wonder how many times you guys died when you first started playing it. Although I suppose I have the, the benefit of watching some videos, but it's clearly not helped me. <laughs> right. There's just so many of these guys. I'm in like some serious trouble. When it comes to night time and they all start running at me, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to be in all kinds of pain. And I've only got four health, so I'm not too sure how we increase that. I wonder if it's food. Um, can of pears. Does that make a difference? Oh, yep, yeah, my health is going up. Excellent. I will, I will assume sleeping probably helps as well. But that's me venturing a guess. I'm not sure what that eerie music is. That just started in the background. Oh, we have some tents. Hmm, I'm probably not in the best of conditions to be taking on any zombies right now, but if we can get some arrows, that would be fantastic. Why can I only make two? Probably need some other bits and pieces. Um, what have we got? Lead Scrap, okay. I feel like some of this is just rubbish. We don't need you. And we don't need you. Yeah, we're a little bit short on stones. Okay. Pick you up. I think you can get it from these as well. Um, would I be using the axe? The axe that's falling apart. Am I actually... Oh, I am getting some stuff from that. Has that, has that actually helped? Yes. There's some very eerie looking fog over there as well. I do want to go and check out these tents, but... I've got a hunting knife, I'm not... Yeah, we don't want to <laughs> just run in with a bunch of arrows in hand. Let's see if I can sneak up on them. Hmm, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. And actually, I look forward to your comments. Because I know I've failed miserably, but it'd be really interesting to see what you think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. But until next time, as always... Take care. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Con una pasión, con una pasión tan fuerte.